my 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 gemini what is going on with you baby it is scorpion reds tarot yes indeed i am back at it again to let you know what energies is surrounding you for the month of may 2019 yes indeed shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on baby all right <clears throat> If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, all you have to do is click that About tab, okay? You'll see a couple links there. The first thing you need to do is book, then link, okay? Again, book, then link. So how you book is click that link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot and simply book me. Select the type of reading you want. It will be all squared away. You need to go back to that About tab. You'll see my Instagram link there. Go ahead and click that link and send me a message privately and say, Hey, Reds, this is so-and-so. I booked with you. This, this, and that. And we'll link up. If I could squeeze you in a little bit earlier, I surely will. If I can get you done that same day, we're going to get them done. You understand me? We're going to get you done, bro. We're going to get you taken care of. Now, if you do not have an Instagram account, you can also use Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. And the only thing you need is my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message on um, Google Hangouts, and we can do the video chat there. I typically only do video chats. However, if you do not feel comfortable, with the video chat there is an add-on option for you to have a direct video upload okay so what you need to do is book the type of reading that you want and then you add on um, the video recap okay so once you pay for your video and for the direct video upload what you would do send me the message on Instagram or have a Google Hangouts basically sending me what you want to know okay the way I operate my readings please do not tell me anything about your situation only what you want to know okay send me a message what you want to know and that way I know where to send your link for your video I will upload it to YouTube and then you have a private link that you can have forever 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 ever just keep in mind however you won't be able to have that back and forth interaction with me as if you would be able to have it in a private face-to-face -face reading so just keep that in mind but you do have that option if you would like to send love to the page you can go ahead and do so um, my PayPal is in the description as well as that um, about tag I will be uploading. One of my um, clients said uh, to do a Amazon wish list, so I'm putting that together, and I will be uploading that on my About tab too. Because I don't think I really do is spend the money that you guys send me on decks. So it would be awesome if I just had the deck list. You know, I listen. I love everyone that I connect with for personal private readings. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. We guys come up with a lot of ingenious business, um, like self-employment, entrepreneur opportunities for each other. You guys give me a lot of ideas. It's a lot of back and forth positive energy for growth and positivity and enlightenment. So I really do appreciate everyone that connects with me for personal private readings. Let's get into the energy for Gemini because I'm talking too much. All right. So. <clears throat> Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for the love and light. Thank you so much for the enrichment, for the enjoyment of the day and the enjoyment and the rest of the night. Thank you so much for all the beauty sleep that we've been getting. I feel like a lot of people have been having a lot of beauty sleep and they've just been rejuvenating themselves and just like really kind of nurturing that self. Father God, thank you so much for just being so abundant and being able to give to us and showing us the blessings of all of the fruits that you know you have provided to us and how to you know enjoy what we have and how to plant our own seeds so that we can grow more you know and just being more intuitive and just more you know self-guiding you know and um standing more in our power and the divine feminine and divine masculine um, energies um, for the sign of Gemini. I feel like a lot of the men are, you know, going through a big transformation of growth as well. You know, they're planting seeds. So thank you so much, Father God, for giving us all of the resources that we need to nurture ourselves and grow and to create the most fruitful and abundant environment that we can for us and our families. Thank you so much for self-worth. Thank you so much for just like... Oh my God, I feel like um, in a big way, I, I feel like I, I, I feel like almost tears almost. It's, it's been a lot, but thank you so much for self-worth and just, you know, 
knowing that our future for greatness lies ahead and you know we're going to be steadfast and move forward and towards the light and towards greatness and then we're going to do the best and nurture ourselves and our environment for ourselves and for our kids in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit thank you so much for um blessing gemini and giving us the fruits that we need and guidance um please give us guidance for the sign of gemini for may 2019 thank you so much come on gemini Come on, you better bring some emotion out of me today, Gemini. Come on, baby. Let's what we doing, baby. What we doing, babe? What we doing, sweet babe? Okay. Y'all gonna be my sweet babe today, Gemini. My sweet babe. What's going on, baby boo? Give me guidance for my sweet babe. Mm-hmm. My, 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 Gemini. Yes. I don't know. I'm feeling like a special kind of just nurturing and bonding love with you today, Gemini. Oh, you trying to put me to work, though? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, Gemini, girl. Now, I love you now, girl. But come on now. Come on, ma. Miss you know. I'll do anything for you, mamas. I'll do anything for you. So, what is this? Patience. Aging. And travel all in reverse. What's up with all this reverse stuff, Jimmy Jimmy? Jimmy Jimmy, give me the reason. What's going on in this season? Why is everything in reverse? Okay. Let's see what's going on. So patience. This says if you're tired, it says it says if you've tired forever to shift the problem. There's probably something to learn from embracing it. So if you, sorry, if you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now. Help me relax and trust everything that I need will be met. Often change soon follows. So God is asking you to have patience. Let's see a B right here. So it might be something that's stinging. It might be something that's just flying around you like a bee just getting on your nerve, irritating you, you a little scared of and stuff. Because you know motherfuckers be scared of bees. You know what I'm saying? People be scared of bees. You know what I'm saying? There's something flying around you that I feel like it's an irritant and you're a little afraid of it. But at the same time, you know... Bees are needed to pollinate the flowers and, and stuff. We need bees in order. Like, for real, if the bees were just to fall off of the face of the earth, imagine how the ecosystem would be affected. You know what I'm saying? There would be no pollination. The grass and everything wouldn't, you know? So, I feel like it's something. Something that's going on in your life right now. It's kind of hard to deal with. And it's saying that you've tried forever to shift this problem. But there's something that you need to learn <laughs> from this problem. It's something that you need to learn about this bee. You know what I'm saying? It's irritant. And it. I, feel, I almost feel like you might be allergic to it as well. It's something about this bee. <laughs> You're allergic to it, but it, it, it's something about this bee's nature. Like, it's something, like, you have to respect something. It's something that you have to embrace about this bee's nature and what the lesson it is that it's bringing into your world, you know? And that's why I said, may I let this be for now? You know what I'm saying? May I let this be for now? Just just chill and just sit back and just observe kind of, you know what I'm saying? Help me relax and trust everything that I need will be met. Often change soon follows. So just sit back and just let things be and just try to relax and trust that every need will be met, you know? And just watch yourself. Don't get stung by the bee. Cause I, I, you know, I feel just, just, the, just, just, just chill a little bit. Just chill. But for some reason, you just you, <laughs> you don't have no patience with this situation. You don't have no patience with 
trying to just chill and just let things be like and trying to see no lesson like i just <laughs> like gemini's like no bitch i ain't no bitch fuck that like <laughs> Come on, Gemini. My, my, my. Gemini said, I'm too fucking grown for this shit. Okay? Time's a wasting. Don't you waste your time, young man. Keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you'll land. Run, baby. Run, run. Where you running to and who you running from? Look, some people may not understand what it takes to be a man, taking full command. Cause we're living in a world that's so, so fast. Gotta make your money last. Learn from your past. Oh, I felt like someone needed to hear that. <clears throat> and excuse my screeching ass voice. But someone feels like I'm too grown for this. Time's a wasting. And they're saying to this B, look, don't you waste your time, young man. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you land. Look, busy B. I ain't got no patience for you. Time's a wasting. You feel me? They said, I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine shiitake. Bitch, did that say shiitake? I hope it spelled shiitake. Because if it didn't, bitch is going to say shiitake today, bitch. Okay? Gemini is giving you all this good shiitake that she whipping up in her walkie, bitch. She done whipped it up in her walk like some stir fry. She done been doing this shit for years. Okay? She sees them for a reason. Okay? We reloaded. <laughs> bitch, we ain't got no time. We ain't got no time to be having all this shit on our mind. Time's a waste then. Don't you waste your time, your man. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you land, honey. Listen, run, baby. Run, run. Where you running to and who you running from. Some people may not understand what it takes to be a man. Taking full command. All right? Travel in reverse. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. Ah, young grasshopper, wax on, wax off, Daniel Sun, wax on, wax off, Daniel Sun, Daniel, Daniel Sun. Okay, hold on, Daniel Sun, hold on. We have a we have a message from Spirit, Daniel Sun. Listen closely, okay? All right, okay. Let every aspect, Daniel, of this travel, okay? It don't matter if it's you traveling or if it's them traveling, okay? It don't matter. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. Let it be what it be. Let it be what it be. So you can see what you need to see. Young grasshopper. Okay, listen. <laughs> May divine order arrange and handle every detail. Fall over. Hold on. Fall over. Did you just drop that on Gemini like that? Fall over. Don't you do. Fall over. Hold on. I'm scared to see what else the rest of the... I don't, I don't even want to do this today. I don't want to do Gemini today. Jimmy, what you trying to give me? My, my, my Jimmy, what is you trying to give me today? <laughs> Bring it back. It say, okay, may divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the lead. As they are shown, come on, bring it in, Jimmy. Bring, reel it, <laughs> reel it in, Jimmy. What you trying to get me, okay? See, because what I'm feeling is, mm-hmm, my, 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 Jimmy, now, what you was trying to neglect to see, little B, you got to let this little B be what it going to be, baby. This be gonna be what it's gonna be. But only thing 
that you needed to do was see what you need to see. All right? Because it ain't for you to sing to them about times of wasting. Because, baby, you ain't got no patience for that. But you know what you got to do. Boo. Boo. What you got to? You said, hold on. Listen. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you landing. I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> I'm too grown for this shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you running to or who you running from. Some people may not understand what it takes to be a man taking full command. But we're living in a world that's oh so fast. You better make your money last. Learn from your past. Someone ain't learning from their past. And for some reason, I don't know if it's Gemini that's running away from something and don't really see the divine order in this situation. Well, I don't know if it's someone that's running away from Gemini that don't see the error in what they're doing. But like Gemini said, time's a waste. I don't have time. I don't have time. And I'm too grown for this shit. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you land. That ain't that. Listen. <laughs> listen to me. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. What Gemini you need to understand is let this, this is divine order, honey. Let this little busy bee go with this little busy bee. Whatever flower. You know, they like to jump around for flower to flower, pollinating and doing what they want to do. Let them do it. Mm -hmm. Let them do it. Let the busy bee be with the little busy bee going to be. Because the busy bee is a busy bee. And sometimes people need to study the nature of creatures before we interact with them. Because you, my dear, were a butterfly. You were not a bee. You understand? You were a butterfly. You weren't a busy bee. You understand? So you might not understand the nature of a busy bee. But at the end of the day, let the busy bee travel. Let everything unravel in pure divine harmony. Okay? And you do what you want to listen. Time's a wasted. Don't you waste your time, young man. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you land. Run, baby. Run, run. Where you running to? Who you running from? Cause some people may not understand what it takes to be a man. Taking full command, baby. Cause we're living in a world that's all oh so strange. But don't let your focus change. Taking on the demons in your rage. Cause we're living in a world that's all oh so fast. You better make your money last. Learn from your past, though. <laughs> Taking on the demons in your range. You better let the busy bee do what the busy bee do, baby. It's all about you, baby. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's for you, too. Learn from your past. Time's a wasting. Don't you waste your time. Because if you keep on drifting, ain't no telling where you land. It ain't just about them. It's about you, too. The King of Wands in reverse. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? But here you go. The Queen of Swords. Baby, you what? Baby, driving in with the Mercedes. Did the angels come down and crown you in a north shoe? Hunt. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> My twin's big like Tia. My twin's big like Tia Tamara, son. <laughs> Tia Tamara. What? Tia Tamara Gemini. Tia Tamara ain't gonna love like Tia. Y'all gonna stop fucking playing with me. Babies, new birth. So a lot of you, <laughs> listen, 
Listen, listen, you ain't waiting for no goddamn message to be coming in to, to come forth to you to tell you that it's okay to move forward. The Lord has sent you a brand new gift, a brand new birth, okay? A brand new birth. And like I said in the readings before, I know that a lot of you guys are expecting baby. That baby is a blessing. That baby is a blessing. You're not, yeah, you're unhanging. You're unhinging yourself. You're like, I'm not about to lay around this bitch like dead me, bitch. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Ha! Come on, Gemini. My, my, my. Gemini, what do we spy? Okay? What do we spy? We spy a whore, okay? A scandalous, nasty, dirty whore that we do not want nothing to do with because we said, hold on, let me put my sword down so I can put my crown on, okay? Hmm. Okay? Because I've been anointed, bitch. And yeah, and when I picked this sword back up, which you already know, because I'm a smart bitch. I ain't never not been no smart bitch. Don't even try me, ho. Okay? Alright? Try me, ho. You gonna have to buy me, ho. Bitch, pay me what I weigh out this motherfucker. Because one thing you know, I am the court and I am the deliverer of justice around this bitch. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You can't tame the bitch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You can't tame the beast. Let me help you. Let me help you. Because I'm going to show you who runs shit around here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you who runs shit around here. Because you ain't going to get in the way of my happiness. And I do in a strong, very strong sense. Definitely feel like a lot of you guys are bringing in some new births. And about to have a baby. Or have you just had a new baby. It's just been given to you. You understand? So you guys have new family. and Or you have children. and Or if you don't have children. You just want happiness. You want brand new beginnings like where it's like you feel like you've been reborn you know you've like tapped into like that child life energy that spirit where you just kind of running around giddy just and it's springtime like girl you got your sundress on with your nice little sandals or just whatever you can girl you got your hair out in your natural shit with your seashells around your neck girl you just skipping around going to all the type of festivals and shit bitch riding horses and shit bitch riding motherfucking stallions and shit Fucking magnums, bitch. Pulling a girl, pulling out the big dogs. Now, I just heard pulling out the big dogs. Bitch, you pulling out the big dogs. You understand what I'm saying? Girl, you not playing. And if it's a Gemini man, you not playing. You not playing. Do you feel me? <laughs> Listen. You ain't waiting for nobody to send you no goddamn message to tell you that the coast is clear, that it's safe for you to move forward in your travel. You understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like you were before. But for some reason, I feel like this is a fuck you. I'm not, I'm not waiting on shit. Fuck you. Ain't no love here. Love don't live here anymore. There's a vacancy. Love don't live here any fucking more. Okay? Whatever new beginning you thought was about to pop off here in this situation, you thought, I feel like whatever it was, it it was a crash and burn. It was it was enough to build forth a creation, but I don't feel like it was. It, it didn't like I, I feel like the the fish didn't hit the cup that 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 well. You know what I'm saying? It ain't get a chance to rest in a cup like that, and. Gemini's like, I'm not about to just lay around this motherfucker like dead meat. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a dead-ass situation. I feel like Gemini had to remove their self out of the situation. This is Gemini, like, literally giving up just all their power to, like, spirit. And just saying, you know what? Look, I give up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they said they don't have no patience no more. Like, they've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried, you know? And 
They're trying to tell him, you know, have patience. Eh, I ain't got patience with this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all told me to hang myself upside down and just release myself to the universe so that I can see things from a different angle. I seen this shit. I'm over it. Okay? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> because you gotta understand this is Gemini Gemini is a very smart person like they don't play no game so it's just like listen they it, it's like someone started to play a movie or it's or someone started to maybe go into the past uh, or maybe found out the truth about someone in, in their past or their past behaviors or whatever or maybe just seeing the truth about someone based on yeah seeing the truth about where their future was going to go based on the past behaviors of someone. And it's just like, but you're, you have such kingly energy, but you don't know how to be a king at all. Like, you just, like, this person was just a lot of get for gab, like, just, like, propaganda and lies falsehoods and fairy tales and fallacies like this person was full of some bullshit like you ain't nothing but a nut <laughs> you ain't nothing but a nut like i really do feel like that like you're not you're not a king like you make yourself seem like you is you good for some dick but for real for real this person don't have no control over their life they're complete fucking shit rap you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to control their urges, their desires. They don't have any control over their um, home environment. They don't know how to control their business investments. They don't know how to control their friendships. They don't know how to control their relationships within their family. They are just out of fucking control and just tail spinning into disaster. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like this motherfucker has fun doing this shit. Like, this is just what this motherfucker does. Just coming through and just acting like they're one way. The motherfuckers is feeding them this bullshit, but then just causing a whole bunch of chaos and just bullshit with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know how to control their self and then want to, like, you know, like, no, 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 no. I see you for who you are. I'm very clear on who the fuck you are. Listen, I had to be upside down to see right side up. This motherfucker turned your life upside down for you to see right side up. You see what I'm saying? And once you could see things right side up, you seen right there at your feet was two vultures just waiting for you to crash and burn and die just like the rest of them bitches. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them bitches that wasn't strong enough to see this bitch for who the fuck they was. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, because this person had you painted out that you was the real one. You was the real one that was about to sit there and really take the bullshit. And Jimmy, I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you thought you was dealing with, bitch. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, you turned my life upside down, but I was able to see right side up. I'm not about to sit there and just lay here and just let these vultures wait until I'm just slim pickets and y'all about to eat me a lot. Fuck you, bitch. Okay? Bitch. <laughs> Love don't live here no more. Like, I don't give a fuck about you. Like, Jim and I don't give a fuck. Like... <laughs> Like, this energy that I got right now, like, I want to go the fuck. I've been wanting to go since I was up here. I'm slightly scared to go deeper because, listen, Jim and I said you ain't no keeper. Before the, listen, before, because typically in, and that's why I'm saying this is the before tarot deck. So, like, before shit even really got really started off deeply with this shit for y'all to really start kind of building this grounding in this household and for this person to kind of really permeate their self in your life like that. I feel like you looked at these plants and you said, um, this shit don't look right to me. You mean I'm about to have to carry all of this burden by myself? Because y'all know the nine of wands, I mean the ten of wands and the traditional right of weight is someone carrying a burden. And it's like literally just like defeating them carrying this shit but it's like for some reason they feel like they're gonna carry this and it's gonna lead them to victory so this is you at the parlor shop at the wood shop buying all 10 of these big ass logs that you for some mystical ass reason in your goddamn brain feel like you can carry this by yourself but where's the other person and shit like you could have did five for five like you carry five and this other person carry five but not for you to carry all this by yourself so like <laughs> Jim and I looked at these plans and said, uh, nah, bitch. 
No, y'all thought y'all was about to trick me and had me carry some shit that was going to have me dead on arrival so y'all can have some dead meat to feast on. Yeah, bitch, you thought you was like shit. You thought I loved you that much shit. <laughs> you better motherfucker. You better. You motherfucker send another bird out for a motherfucking answer to that because they, listen, they still ain't replied yet exactly because, bitch, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck told you that. I don't know, but bitch, you better. Okay. <laughs> That's my best friend. That's my best friend. No, I'm not. Bitch, you better. You better, motherfucker. Look at those plans again. I don't know who the fuck told you I was about to carry all this shit by myself. Busy B. Okay. Ciao, bye. I'm over here too busy being a butterfly. I'm over here, you know, to being a whole ass motherfucking caterpillar in my silk cocoon transforming into a butterfly. And you too busy running around being a busy bee. And I thought me and you was the same. But clearly, me and you ain't on the same page at all. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to control yourself. So, so let me see what spirit is telling me what to do. Okay? What is it saying? Recognition and reward. There was no recognition and reward in this situation that you were dealing with, okay? And you felt ungrounded. And it knocked your root chakra off. There was no harmony in this situation that you were dealing with. And you know that. There was no harmony there. Because there was no true recognition of love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it was, like, it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what people put off to the public. Like, if you don't feel that harmony. If you don't feel that harmony. It don't matter what people put out there and post. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and No. This, it was no true harmony there. So you're not, you know, no, 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 no. You didn't recognize me. There was no true recognition and reward for this. It, it, it really wasn't. And I do feel like there was like, uh, mm, there was no true recognition and reward in this situation. Okay. Financial and material changes. There's going to be big financial and material changes going on here um i feel like a lot of you guys might was looking for marriage you guys are looking for marriage you guys are looking for change but this is the thing that you, you i feel like a lot of you guys are looking for marriage in a situation where there's no harmony in and you try, you're trying to overcome a mental conflict about that situation. Because this situation, I don't, I mean, this situation, I don't know if there's marriage or if, I don't know if y'all are married or if there's just a commitment that's based on, there's, there's a, just a marriage or a commitment that there's no harmony and there's no recognition of reward in. But there's some type of financial and material connection there. And there's about to be a change to that. There's about to be a change to that. To this. To this. There's a financial and material change that's about to happen to this commitment. And it's like you need to root yourself and get yourself grounded to deal with this. And it's just like something that's been a mental conflict for you, but it's, it's not a mental conflict for you no more. It's like you're rooted and you're grounded. Like whatever may come of this, like you're ready to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You're ready to deal with that shit. You're ready to deal with it because it's like I'm not going to sit here and deal with some shit that ain't really bringing me the joy that I want. I'm not dealing with that shit. Fuck shit. Crown chakra. Listen. Crown chakra. I know what I know, and I gotta go. I gotta go. Number seven. Number seven is just understanding again, like harmony, truth, coming to the truth of the situation, like having a clear understanding, knowing the truth about the situation. Disruption. This situation ripped you apart and it caused a disruption in your life. I feel like, you know, to some level, I feel like you kind of feel caged and you feel trapped with this person that kind of disrupted you and it's like ripped you apart. But you know the truth about the situation and you know within every 
inch of your mind, body, and soul what it is that you got to do to kind of put yourself together. Because it's like, fuck this other person. I don't have it to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I feel like I really, I really... Like you've, you've overcome this mental conflict. You you found out the truth about whatever it is. Whatever it is you need to see about this busy bee. You've seen what you needed to see about this busy bee. Give me guidance. Um, Tell me what Gemini has to say to the busy bee. Hmm. What does Gemini have to say to the busy bee? What does Gemini have to say to Busy B? It really was me, not you. Ooh. Lord Jesus. It says, uh, Karma is a bitch, and I finally got mine. It was really you, not me. Karma is a bitch, and I finally got mine. I really feel like um, Jim and I tapped out on the situation because it wasn't them that tapped. It wasn't the other person that tapped out because the other person would have let this situation go on like this but forever. But, karm but karma is a bitch, and Jim and I felt like they got their karma dealing with this situation. And it says... Um, I'm really bad at commitment. I'm really bad at commitment. Hmm. I can't take this situation anymore. I feel like, and, and, and for one reason, I feel like the reason why um, Jim and I are saying I'm really bad at commitment is because they was in a situation with a person and it was a committed situation and it was a disruption in their life and they seen what they needed to see and I feel like Jim and I don't have no problem with if you doing some fuck shit, I'm gonna go do with the I'm gonna go and go do me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the real tail end of this situation was it wasn't the other person, it was Jim and I because it's like I can't do this shit no more. Like I got my karma fucking with you. Like I learned my lesson, like I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I learned my lesson, I'm good. It said, I'm sorry I held myself back with you, you know. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. I feel too much pressure right now. I feel like after a certain... I feel like after a certain time, like, Gemini got their karma dealing with this King of Wands. Because I feel like they slightly might have knew what the fuck they were getting themselves into. Because, you know, Gemini is a very, very smart and very... You know what I'm saying? They're very smart. So I feel like you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into, but it might have been fun or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was some level of harmony, fulfillment, and recognition and reward in it at some point in time. But um, I feel like once things got real shaky, it said, I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. I feel like to some aspect that Gemini takes some responsibility for the breakup of the situation because I feel like there was a busy bee. And Gemini said, I'm going to let the busy bee be with the busy bee be. I don't have patience for that. I'm too grown for this shit. This person is going to see the mistakes of, of their ways. I don't, if this person is traveling, I'm going, I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I feel like after, at a certain time, like, Jim and I became the king, I mean, the queen of swords. You know what I'm saying? Like, she can be a very cold person. You know what I'm saying? And she can mentally cut you out, you know? And once her mind starts drifting, she'll go somewhere else. Or once his mind starts drifting, if it's a Gemini male, he'll start going somewhere else. And once they're not mentally tapped into you, they're completely locked into something else that's giving them pleasure and harmony. But it seems like whatever was at home that they were committed to wasn't bringing them pleasure and harmony. And I feel like 
this person, this king of wands isn't good at commitment. And it's like, okay, bitch, you're not good at commitment. Neither am I. You know what I'm saying? And I wish I would have told you how much I, I, I feel like there's a lot of unsaid things against with this um, commitment here. Give me the guidance from the person that's dealing with Gemini. I've looked you online to see what you've been up to. So this person has been watching you, Gemini. I don't know if y'all are in separation. Y'all must be in separation. Yeah, y'all are in separation. And they've been watching you online. It says, I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. So I feel like you've been cold to this person. This person has been cold to you. And they want you to know that even though that they don't reach out to you, they do think about you. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. They think about you and they've been watching you to see what you've been up to. Says, I'm in a much better headspace now. I feel like this person feels like they're better with y'all being apart. I feel like this person feels like you were a disruption to them too. Um, I got spooked. Something about this commitment spooked this person and they get. That's my something flip. Maybe I didn't. Get a few more cards. Because Gemini had a lot to say over there. <laughs> and when we make love. What does this person have to say to Gemini? My heart is telling me to just do it. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. Alright, so... I feel like on both of y'all part, like, on Gemini's part, it's like, Gemini felt like, you know what I'm saying, lip player, don't take this shit personal. I feel like I got my karma with you and I went to do me and I kind of just mentally tapped out on you and I kind of cut you out. I feel like y'all have a certain commitment and it could possibly be a child where y'all have to deal with each other to a certain aspect. But for some reason, I feel like, This person's words, it makes me feel like this person might have completely abandoned Gemini. And for the ones that's not dealing and don't have kids involved, Gemini seen this person for who they were and they went and did them and, and they were already doing them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a mutual thing here. It's like, listen, this person is like, it ain't you, it was me. It ain't you, it was me. So you know what I'm saying? It's just like... And Jim and I don't give a fuck because they're like, look, this busy bee going to do what the fuck they do. And they going to see and they going to keep bumping their head along. Listen, it ain't for me to do you. I tried. Like, I tried. And I tried. And I can't do it. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Okay? I've never forgotten about you even though you think I have. So even though they think that, you know, they've been cold and distant, they thought that you... Ain't been thinking about them. Clearly, they've been looking you up. I'm in a much better headspace now. It seems like they're better apart. They got spooked in this commitment with you. Your heart is telling them to just do it. And to please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It was me. I feel like their heart was just telling them to just leave. Like, you know, it was like my heart is telling me to just do it. It's like their heart is telling them to just do whatever it was that made them say it's not you, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Their heart was just telling them. I feel like y'all heart was saying that this ain't right. And their heart was saying that this ain't right. You know? So it was like almost like a mutual thing. Um, give me guidance surrounding this love situation, please. With the Gemini and the Busy Bee. Mm. Pause. It's been a pause in this situation. It's like a sunset. Like it has been a sunset to the situation. It's been a pause. It's been a serious pause. Yeah. Um, it's just like the intuition is just saying. I feel like they had big dreams in this connection, but it just was like 
I feel like it was like fantasy. You know what I'm saying? It was like they it was like illusion. It was illusions. Um and there's there, like Gemini is sitting in a place of contemplation right now about what to do moving forward because I do feel like very strongly like this person still holds Gemini's heart. But you know, give me some additional guidance. Um, Gemini, I don't feel like they've seen their self worth in this situation. Whatever this situation, it just I feel like they weren't operating out of a place of self worth in this situation. But I, for whatever this person, this sense of nostalgia is like this person still holds. Gemini's heart and they still contemplate about this person because I still feel that Gemini has a deep love there for this person and they still hold their heart in their hands you know what I'm saying but what I want you to understand is are you truly loving yourself by you know indulging in this you know because I feel like it's just both of y'all are just you know you got to do what's best for the children that's what I just heard in my head uh, the spring I feel like this blossom is going to bloom this spring so I feel like some of you guys might be having um, birth this spring okay so for you guys that are expecting I feel like that it's going to blossom and bloom this spring and um, you got to get that yeah if you want to be admired something about this spring this blossoming this this spring I feel like you want to feel admired Cause it's going to be a big new beginning for you. It's going to be, you see these butterflies? It's going to be a big new beginning. There's three butterflies for three three people. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I feel like one thing I want you to focus on is your self-worth though, Gemini. Okay? Because make sure that you are getting the admiration from the right person. And I'm, I'm being guided to use this um real quick the shadow deck give me guidance with regards to what um messages that gemini need to know in regards to this self-worth and please you guys don't be offended i'm just reading the cards you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that you have a lack of self-worth but i feel like this person that you allowing to hold on to your heart that you don't think about your worth in regards to this like, it's nothing but excuses from this person in this situation. And, like, there's a sense of emptiness there. I feel like you're dealing with someone that they almost, like, don't even have no soul. And don't care about what they do and how it affects you. It's just a whole bunch of fucking excuses. And I feel like you don't even want to hear that shit anymore. There's emptiness in this relationship. There's emptiness inside. And I feel like you're almost yearning to be admired and acknowledged by this person by like almost any means possible. But it's like you're tired of this person's excuse. Whoa, bitch. That was an explosion. Eh? They feel like they've been silenced. Jim and I feel like they've been silenced. Okay, it's a sense of emptiness. They're tired of excuses. They feel like they've been silenced or have they silenced someone. It's like they don't want to see this person. They don't want to talk to this person. They don't want this person on their brain. They feel empty inside and they just want complete silence, okay? Because there's a void that they're looking to be filled here in this situation with this person. What is this? Um... I think that you need to look at possibly the patterns and the behaviors that's been going on in this relationship because someone is really not seeing how foolish that they've been acting in this situation trying to fill this void. It's like an emptiness inside and there's an emptiness inside and through the silence, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're trying to fill this void and possibly not seeing how foolish you know, you are. Um, there's almost like a robotic. Just there's a roboticness about this relationship where it's just like it's mechanical. And I just feel like it needs to be something more than just whatever this 
machine is like whatever the machine is that is being driven behind this relationship is not a good thing like it's just not a good it's not good okay so what is this escapist i feel like you're dealing with a like a serial escapist like hmm for some reason this is shocking to you because i feel like you didn't think that this person would run away You didn't think that the bee would run away and find another flower to go pollinate with. It's shocking. You feel repelled. You feel repelled by this person. Like this person. So I'm saying as a Gemini. As a Gemini, you've been given nothing but excuses. And you feel a sense of emptiness in this relationship. Because you're dealing with someone who doesn't have a soul. You know what I'm saying? And you've silenced this person out. You know? Because this person was only feeling a void in your life. And you weren't able to see your foolish ways. You're trying to get out of this robotic energy with you and this person. You didn't think that this person would run away like they did. It was shocking to you. But you're repelling this energy from you. You don't want it. You know what I'm saying? I do sense that. And then I also do I also do feel like there's someone that is tired of the excuses. They feel empty because someone silenced them out. They're trying to feel avoided. They're not seeing their foolish ways. And this person... It's like a robot almost, and they they almost can't, like this, whatever type of robot this is, is not a good, it's not a good way of being, and, 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 and like, it's not a good, like you didn't buy a good model robot, you know what I'm saying, like it, it don't work right, you know, like this, this robot likes to run away, and for some reason, like, you didn't think that this robot would run away, and you're shocked by it, because this person... Almost acts like they're propelled by you, but it's like, but you're my robot. Like, what, what the fuck are you, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, no matter what this person says, it's just like, there's no excuse for why you would just run off like that. Like, you know, we had something going that was supposed to be like a forever thing that was supposed to be kind of almost robotic. You know what I'm saying? Like a commitment is something that's forever, forever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're not doing, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the Jetsons or something, like when they go and buy like the maid robot or whatever to clean the house. And it's just like, but every time... It's time for the maid to clean up the house and shit. The, the maid robot opens up the door and tries to go clean out the hall in the, the apartment hallway. And you're like, no, bitch, you supposed to be cleaning the inside of my house, not opening the door and cleaning the, the hallway and going in the neighbor's fucking house and cleaning. They, no, bitch, like every time I turn you on, I'm turning you on because I want you to tidy up my house, not the other fucking. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what the fuck type of cleaning robot is this bitch i'm about to motherfucking call goddamn um alexa alexa can i get a refund on this bitch that's why i keep telling y'all better motherfucking go online instead of just talking to alexa through the little box and saying alexa i want a motherfucking robot no bitch you need to go and look and, and check the reviews and shit before you just be hollering at alexa and shit you know because <laughs> like <laughs> the robot is like, huh, maybe this was a bad idea. And Gemini's like, yeah, bitch, maybe this was a bad idea. And this was my fault. No, bitch, it was my fault for buying you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, girl, you know what I'm saying? So, like, listen, the fate. Like, this is like an unfortunate fate. Like, Gemini's just having to deal with the unfortunate fate that was dealt to them. Like, the unfortunate cards that was dealt to them, seriously. Um, you know... They're really trying to see the rainbow through the situation and trying to, you know, see the, the, the beauty of it. Because, like I said, for some of you guys, you guys do have a child that came out of it. So, at the end of the day, it may be an unfortunate fate where, you know, it's fucked up how this shit had to happen like this. But at the end of the day, I got to see the light at the, you know, I got to see what's the yeah, incubation. I told you, eggs. 
I told you, you guys are expecting. Uh-huh. There's something incubating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And if you're not, um, and if you're not pregnant and expecting these beautiful, beautiful eggs, you understand what I'm saying? It's an unfortunate fate, this shit that happened with the baby father. But at the end of the day, you got some beautiful, beautiful eggs in the basket, okay? And might some of you might be expecting multiples, okay? So, and they beautiful, and you don't regret them for the world. You know what I'm saying? The only unfortunate thing is the asshole. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker like, yeah, this was a mistake. Yeah, this was a mistake. But at the end of the day, we still got this. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't have that, um, it's possible that you've gone back inside and you're incubating because you are about to bust out like a rainbow. You understand? Um, what is this? The hummingbird. There's no more sweetness in this. The veil. There's a lot of hidden energy behind this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this person wore a mask, wore a veil the whole time. I feel like this person was a very dark person. And I don't think that Jim and I seen it. But they're mourning this relationship. They're mourning this. And I really hope that this person did not leave Jim and I with no baby, young. Because that's fucked up, young. Enchanted. I feel like Gemini feels like this person enchanted them, like put a spell on them almost. Spider. Yeah, like this person, like, Gemini feels like they were set the fuck up. Like this person was like a sneaky ass spider and they came and like lured them into their fucking web of fucking lies and hidden fucking bullshit. Like. I feel like seriously, I feel like Gemini feels like this person enchanted them. Almost like um Anansi. If y'all know who Anansi is, he is like the spider in like um African fables and stuff like that. This person feels like they were lured in by Anansi and was like enchanted by beautiful flowers like this person probably gave them a lot of stuff and was real sweet to them and lured them in with flowers and gifts and nice trips and buying them lunch and doing all of this nice stuff and they lured them right into their web right into their web and right now they're in a place of mourning because there has been a death you know, like, like they felt like they've been eaten, like they were lured into a trap and they were like eating alive. And that's why I told you, like, didn't I say up there something about they not about to just lay here for the um, vultures to sit there and, and, and eat them alive. You know what I'm saying? Because this person had this veil on. They, they came around singing sweet songs like a hummingbird, but they weren't sweet at all. There was a darkness hitting behind this whole situation i feel like this person felt like oh my god i feel like this gemini feels like this person tried to trap gemini with a baby <laughs> because they they felt like they were going to see a rainbow there they felt like they it was going to be a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow and they instead it was like an unfortunate you know what i'm saying like the cards that was dealt was not what they thought. You see what I'm saying? Was not what they thought. I feel like Gemini got. They got tricked. I feel, I, I feel on a very, very strong, very, very strong level. Feels like Gemini is mourning over a relationship where they feel like they were lured and enchanted and tricked into a trap where they would have been eaten alive. You know what I'm saying? Where they were going to be eaten alive. And the, the spider or the bee was going to go somewhere else and just and just go find another fucking victim. Like, that's... Target that on a high level. Because isn't that what spiders do? They go... Lure hope and go find someone else to lure into their web and shit like that. Like, my gracious. Give me guidance about this. Man. Give me guidance about this veil and the spider and... The Enchantment in the incubation in in the fate in reverse. The cards in reverse. Jim and I don't like these cards that's been dealt. Like I'm serious. They were just looking to be admired by this person. 
And it's, I feel like this person like lured them into a trap. What is this? The Knight of Wands in reverse. So he he showed himself. Okay, so he wasn't a true king of wands. And he, he he's a Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person had no intentions of really showing any true commitment here. This person was only in this relationship while shit was hot. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as shit started fizzling out, like I said, this person enchanted you, okay? And lured you into their trap. They ate off of you whatever they wanted to eat off of you. And then when shit got motherfucking, you know, unappetizing to them, they dipped and, and created a new fucking web somewhere else. What is this? The page of cups in reverse. So I feel like there's no more messages of love being exchanged. Like I said, the sweetness is gone. The three of swords. Yeah, there has been a true heartbreak here. Um, you know, whatever flowers were blooming here, they they die out. Like they died out very, very quickly. Um, and it's possibly due to a third party situation, okay? So and I and, and you see there's just someone mourning something. Black roses for this dying love. Now we're breaking up. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't know that, that song, Black Roses by Trey Song? Listen, Black Roses, there's heartbreak and stuff like that. But, you know, I feel like Gemini is really heartbroken behind this whole situation. Because this person had no intentions of ever truly loving them. And I feel like... Gemini doesn't even feel like this person ever truly loved them. They feel like this person just kind of set them up. Set them up. It was like a setup. Like, you know? But Gemini is seeing illumination, growth. It didn't, it, you know, I don't feel like 19. Like, you could have been with this person for 19 months. Y'all could have been with each other like a little less than two years. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have been with each other for about 19 months. And, um... Yeah, what is this? The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Five of Wands. What is this? The Queen of Swords in reverse. There you go. Yeah. I feel like some... I feel like... Some days you know exactly what you want to do and sometimes you don't know what you want to do because... This, 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 this hurt right here with the fact that this person isn't like expressing. I feel like it's a little shocking to you that this person kind of went off with someone else or my, or, or, or just was fucking with other people. I don't know. I don't necessarily even feel like this person is off with. I don't feel like this person is with someone else, but I feel like this person was cheating and it led to a lot of heartbreak. And not only that, it led to a betrayal. And you seen this person for who the fuck they really are. And just a fucking player. You know what I'm saying? This person was like just trying to set the situation up. So that they could. Kind of. You know what I'm saying? Be good. For the time that they wanted to be there. And I feel like it really hurt you. It really hurt you. And it really hurt you that this person isn't communicating their love to you. Because like you, you looking to be admired by this person. And especially for some of the people that I feel like y'all are pregnant with this baby. And y'all about to have this baby this spring or whatever. You still, it's like even with that, you're looking for some level of admiration from this person. And I feel like this person kind of don't care. And that's like breaking your heart. Because it's just like, how the fuck you just going to hand me these cards? We still got these eggs, you know what I'm saying? You had this veil on this whole time, like it, I, I don't, I don't like this. There's a lot of heartbreak right here. It's a lot of mental, like it's a lot of mental hurt, heart hurt and mental hurt here. But at the same time, like. Um, Jim and I seen what they needed to see. Everything has been illuminated. Like, I feel like you guys are finding the sunlight and the greatness and the joy in the fact that you have this new birth habit 
be new life, being that you're bringing new life into this world, or that you just have a new beginning because you let this busy bee go off and go fuck someone else's life up and you ain't worried about this shit and you just going on. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, if it's not a baby that you're bringing into this life, it's just that you're moving on and you're finding happiness and you're skipping off into the sunlight and the sunshine and you know who you are, you know your worth, you know, dealing with this person. You weren't really loving yourself or operating from a place of self-worth because if you did you wouldn't have put up with this shit you know what i'm saying you wouldn't have put up with this shit 19 months was 19 months too fucking long all right the seven of wands i feel like um i feel like you're tired of having to I feel like you're tired of arguing with this motherfucker. Like you're tired of, of of having to defend yourself and your stance about who you are, what you see, where you stand. You know what I'm saying? Listening to this person's bullshit. All of this fucking like you, 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 you're tired of it. I'm tired of battling for you. I'm tired of, listen, I am tired of competing for you. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. Okay, I don't have you to do. So I really do feel like, listen, the Queen of Wands, I mean, the, not the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, y'all don't really went cold on this motherfucker. Y'all don't went cold and y'all don't cut this motherfucker out. And I mean long and deep. Y'all don't cut this motherfucker out long and deep, long and deep. And I feel like there was a very serious verbal altercation this is a very serious verbal altercation. Let's give one last spread and we, we the hell up out of here, you guys. Did I use these cards yet? No. Let me up out of here. Please give Gemini guidance for the future, please. What's some guidance for the future? I want to go to the Rebel deck, too, but I don't want to make this too long, y'all. But I just looked over there. Something's telling me to go over there. Okay. Okay. Jim and I say I'm not being no goddamn fool no more. I don't have time for y'all shit. I ain't got no faith in this situation with you. Fuck you. All right? Ace of Pentacles. All right? You moving on because you know good and goddamn well that you bad by your goddamn self. And not only that, but God going to send you a good man or a good woman. And you going to be laid up in a lap of luxury, okay? So you got a brand new beginning for yourself. And you might be getting a brand new job somewhere else, Okay? You ain't tripping over this shit. I don't got no time for this shit. The King of Pentacles, you looking for somebody with long money and long dick. You ain't got time for this shit. Three of Pentacles, okay? You might have to still work with this motherfucker about some shit. So you just gonna figure out how to plan this shit out. And, you know, work this shit out. And, you know. And it's possibly you might be wanting to work this shit out with this person. But if you do work this shit out with this person, just know if you continue to engage and continue to do this with this person and you know this person ain't shit, you are not being the star that you are. You are not operating in self-worth. You are not operating in self-love, okay? All right? Keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind. And then let me get a, a Rebel Deck card. For you couples. Let me get a rebel deck card for you couples. For you ones that are still together with this person and you about to leave or you know whatever. Because this energy basically said both of y'all are like two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. And I definitely don't even feel like y'all together anymore. But for the ones that have children and have to still stay in connection with each other. Okay? What guidance do you have? It says, massage, binge watch, chill. It says, you're fucking stressed. Get a massage, binge watch some shit, and chill. You're stressed. And especially for my ones that, you know, y'all are expecting, the last thing you need is to be having some stress on you in this pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Please take care of yourself. What was that that flipped over? It says, your person is lucky. Remind them. You're hot, smart, and got a great ass. <laughs> 
says your pu your person is lucky remind them you're hot smart and got a great ass all right so you know you guys like i said there are some of you guys that are still going to try to work towards this and going to try to fight towards this union but i just want you guys to um think about your self-worth because if you're dealing with someone that ain't even communicating with you and you feel like they're repelled by you or you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like you didn't think this person was going to leave like that. You did not think this person was going to leave like that. For some reason, you, you thought that this person wasn't going to leave like that. So... Don't forget about the other spreads, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So if this resonates with you, again, only take what resonates with you. Don't put yourself out there just looking for some admiration from somebody that is, you know, don't do that. Family shit is getting on your nerves. Have each other's back. Okay? So that is for my couples okay that is for my couples and y'all might be dealing with some family shit that is most definitely getting on your nerves but at the end of the day i feel like um for that car whoever that car resonated with i feel like for some of you guys that are in a relationship and y'all are still together and i feel like a lot of family it's been getting in in in, in, in the middle and involved into y'all relationship you know what i'm saying and you getting very irritated about that shit. What's going on for the singles? See me guys for the Gemini's. Y'all done got some extra damn love. Because I ain't do this shit for nobody else. But I just feel like it was a deep message here. Alright. So it says. It says. Don't take 12. Take 1. Okay. Maybe 2. And move on. So it says take a shot. So for some of y'all, y'all might be stressed too. Take a shot, take one or maybe two and move on. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. I feel like y'all not been eating. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat and take care of your body. When you take care of your body, take care of your mind. And ancient shit is cool. You need some fucking yoga in your life. <laughs> ancient shit is cool. Yeah, I feel like for the single Geminis, I feel like y'all just been out there kind of just like doing some old... I don't know why I just heard some nomad shit. I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Whatever. I, sh I feel like I should know what the fuck that means. But I heard y'all out there on some old nomad shit. And y'all need to like. Y'all be partying a lot and shit. Y'all be partying like a rock star. Like y'all be out there like yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I want you guys to be more balanced. And pay more attention to what you feed in your mind. And, and basically what you feed in your mind. Is what you feed in your body. So you have to have a healthy balanced meal. You need to eat your vegetables you know what i'm saying if you stress you need to have a shot and i feel like you know spirit is saying okay that's cool you want to go party you young and shit like that go have a motherfucking shot have one or two not 12 okay and you need to eat your vegetables and then after you finish all that partying bitch do some yoga i feel I feel like y'all out there like having it the fuck up. Gemini, I'm not doing y'all no more. Anyway, I love y'all. I hope this video resonated. Only take what resonates, okay? And um, understand that the energies can be vice versa. This could be what someone was doing to you, Gemini. Or what, you know, you were, you understand. Anyway, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>